Welcome to the Abundaculture channel. The Bible provides pathways to abundance. God is pleased when we succeed abundantly and share generously. Abundaculture uses the family homestead as a platform to provide five basic needs. Affordable housing, renewable energy, clean water, healthy food, and safe sanitation. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check out our Abundaculture.org website and download our free training manual. Today we're going to talk about the composting toilet. A lot of people would ask, why in the world would I want to compost human waste? Well, for a lot of reasons. It's safe, it's inexpensive, all across the third world, anywhere in the world, most people can afford to build a good composting toilet. Most importantly, particularly in the third world, the compost that we're throwing away now or sending to the sewer plant needs to be left on the homestead so it can help rebuild and reestablish good soils. We're throwing away a valuable resource when we send our human waste to someplace downstream to take care of it. So I'm going to show you how we built our composting toilet. We've used it for almost 20 years. Uh, we've never had a problem with it. There's never been bad odors associated with it. If you design it the way I'm going to show you, you'll find that it will work very well for you too. Once the composting uh, toilet is filled, we just use a five gallon bucket, then it goes from the compost toilet here, it goes out to the compost pile. You can see our other presentation on composting and it'll show you that operation, that part of the composting toilet situation. So let's take a look here at the compost toilet that we built. This one is, oh gosh, about 18 years old. It's just a wooden box. It's made out of uh, three quarter inch plywood and painted. I use an oil-based paint. One thing that does happen is the paint will turn yellow over time. So I, I paint this about every couple of years, just put another coat on it. It keeps it looking nice and it's easy to clean, can be washed up just with a, a rag and soapy water. So this is what the composting toilet looks like. We put a nice toilet seat on there so that it's comfortable. And underneath it is a five gallon bucket. And you access that just by lifting that up, okay? That's your bucket, it's got some sawdust, and that's what we use to cover up our solid waste in this toilet. You can use sawdust, you can use rice hulls. There's always some high carbon item. It needs to be the consistency of confetti to cover up the waste, and that starts the chemical processes that are going to take care of that waste and make it clean and useful. On the side here, we have bins where we have extra sawdust. Remember, it's dust, sawdust. You don't want it blowing all over the room and you don't want to be having to carry it all over the place. So it's just handy to have it available right next to the toilet. Now, you always want to put a fan. Right there's the fan. And when you're using the toilet, you always turn the fan on first before you open it up and any odors that are created during your deposit there are going to be taken away by the fan and that vents to the outside. Leave the fan on for five, ten minutes. That's all it takes and you'll always be nice and fresh. So I'll turn it off there. So you make your deposit, you cover it up with sawdust, when the bucket gets full it goes out to the compost pile. Now one of the big questions is, is this safe? compost from human waste in the garden. Well, we've been doing that for about 18 years here on our place. We've never had any sickness. We've never had any problems doing that. The key, if you're going to use it for the garden, the key is that all the compost must be composted out in your compost bins for at least one year. One other question that I want to answer is, should I buy one of those fancy schmancy composting toilets, they're all plastic formed and they have cranks and they have all kinds of things. They cost starting out at about a thousand dollars and you can easily spend five or six thousand dollars. 
The answer shortly is no. Don't buy those things. The one problem with all of them that I've, and I've had them here, I've, I've experimented with them in several different applications, they always smell. Because you're leaving all the compost in, that's where the compost is going to happen, right there. With the sawdust comp uh, composting toilet, we're going to take that bucket out to the compost pile outside, and therefore we're not going to have to worry about any odors. Well, that's the composting toilet here. There's one more that I want to show you uh, that's a, even a little more simple to build, and that's in our tiny house. All right, welcome to our tiny house toilet. Now, this is actually the toilet and the shower. The shower head's right here, and we, as you can see, it's a tiny house. It's got very little space, so I had to figure out a way I could get the toilet and the shower together and maximize that space. So here's what we did. We just created a platform here, and the bucket simply slides under the platform. Now, the first composting toilet that I showed you, it was important that it had a good tight-fitting lid on it. In this one, as you can see, that's not going to happen unless you put this lid on. So you make your deposit, you put your sawdust on top of it, this just slides under here, like so. There's a fan, there's always a fan. Here we go. And the fan stays on for about five or ten minutes, just like the other one. When you're done, you simply put the lid back on, make sure it's on there well, just like that. That's all it takes. And this toilet doesn't stink. It's easy to change. It, just like the other one, you have a compost pile, and you take the contents of the, of the composting toilet out into the compost pile. So that's how you can make one in your tiny house. we do are just grains of sand when these things are touched by the master's hand